Jesus gave himself for us, can we give ourselves a little bit yeah. for other people? Is that reasonable to, to think that we can do that since Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, gave himself for us? Why did he give himself for us? That he might redeem us from all iniquity, save us from our sins. And he did that. Amen. If you're a believer in Jesus Christ today, you're saved. He's redeemed you from all of your iniquity. Amen. But that's not the only reason why he gave himself for us. He gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity in verse 14 and purify unto himself a peculiar people. Peculiar means you're kind of different. Peculiar means you're a little strange. Peculiar means like, what are you talking all this Jesus stuff? What are you, some kind of freak? Live, eat, breathe, sleep, Jesus? That's kind of weird. That's why Jesus gave himself for us, that he could redeem us from all iniquity and purify into himself a pure people zealous of good works. Zealous of good works. That's what he wants us to be. He doesn't want us dragging our feet to do good works. He doesn't want us thinking, oh man, I have to, like I was just talking about myself. Sometimes you have to force yourself to go do good works. Jesus wants us to be zealous of good works. Look, I'm just being honest here. When I said that sometimes I don't really feel like going and doing it because I'm in my flesh and you force yourself to do it. Would to God I was never like that. And I'd always be zealous. That's not the case, but this is what Jesus wants for us. He, he's, he's saved us and he, he wants to purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous unto good works. This is why we started a church here. This is why there's so many people looking for churches because there's so many churches that have lost that zeal that are not zealous on the good works. They're not very peculiar. They're kind of just like everybody else. You kind of just go and you sit down and you hear something and then you go home and you just continue on about your life and nothing ever changes and nothing's ever different and nobody's getting the gospel preached unto them. And this is why we're here. And this is why I'm extra excited about this year's soul winning marathon because last year's mega marathon is what determined where we decided to move. When I decided it was time to move on and, and, and try to start another church, I waited till after the mega marathon results from last year because I wanted to see where are there people who are already excited. I want to know where is there already a peculiar people that, that are zealous unto good works. Where can we go where there's just this great need and there's people here in the gospel and it's receptive and there's, you know, and you know where that was from last year's results? Atlanta, Georgia. This is where the, the most amount of people were, were interested in going out soul winning. And obviously there are some really good results. There's a lot of fruitful fields here of people that are ready to get saved because the results were great. And I'm looking at that and, you know, I don't normally address anyone listening online because I'm preaching to the, to the people here in church. But let's face it, there's people out there that are, are wanting to have churches started in their areas. And I would say this, if you want a church started in your area, why don't you start getting zealous yourself on the good works? Why don't you make it easier on the people who are going to be coming up, who are going to be looking for areas to start a church and, and get as many people motivated as you can? Do what you can. Do whatever it is that you can to stir people up. If there weren't some of the people here that are in this room even today doing the things that they were doing, this church might not have existed. But it does because the church itself is, is so much more than just one person or one pastor or one leader. It's, it's, it's a whole group of people. And it's people who, in our case, for sure, are like-minded. We love God. We want to serve God. We want to help people grow. We want to do more for other people and, and especially giving, getting them saved by giving them the gospel.